left. We have enough for all of us. <laughs> Um, it depends. Yeah, it it varies. So, yeah, um, yeah, this is a great spot right here. Absolutely. No, I Welcome. Happy Friday. Y'all signing on. Let me know how my sound is. If you could just text or chat um, that you can hear me before I get started. Thank you, Jenna. Hi, Jenna. Thanks, Mariana. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, thanks for, so much for being patient um, with the time as well. I'm so happy you're here. My name is Kimberly. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, hers, and um, I'm happy to lead an Anusara slash par yoga practice today for, for all of us. Um, but I just want to remind you that this is your practice, as uh, we often know, and to just take each cue um, personal and kind of allow it to evolve the way that your body wants it to. Um, and to to make sure that you make everything your own in the practice as far as what you do on your mat. So if anything feels on just not right for you, um, just remember to give yourself permission to move the way that you need to move this evening. So go ahead and just come into a comfortable seat to start out. We'll collectively arrive in the space the space that you are in as though we're all here, even online, the, the community online joining us, the community in the studio and the people around us, you know, maybe even inviting in, in a, an energetic essence of those that could benefit from this kind of practice of centering and grounding and arrival. Just start to notice what you feel as you kind of wiggle into your space. Notice if you want to stretch your arms out or rotate or adjust any part of your physical body. Starting to maybe pay attention to our senses as we allow those to bring us to this present moment. Whether the eyes are opened or the eyes are closed, just knowing what you see, maybe revisiting the um, track of what brought you to this place, this place, this spot today, and revisiting all that it took for you to get here right now. Maybe your travels, making the time, scheduling this practice for yourself, listening to the sounds around you, maybe the furthest distance, taking a moment to just let your inner ear expand outward. And as you arrive in the sense of hearing of sound, notice how your breath adopts, adapts to the idea of arriving and being present. 
and uh, allow yourself to expand or kind of stretch your breath. Uh, the Sanskrit word of pranayam is to stretch the breath, right? To stretch this idea of energy and all that exists in this moment. So noticing if you can breathe in a little longer, breathe out a little longer, but don't force it, right? We're just arriving into the idea, if only, of what the breath can offer us here in this moment. So breathing in with the awareness that you're breathing in and breathing out with the awareness that you're breathing in. Allow each exhale to settle you into this arrival of bringing all of you here and now. Every part of you is welcome here. And as you find these more intentional, more formed or more uh, awareness of your breathing, to start to find this kind of cyclical breath where not pausing between the inhale and the exhale, just feeling a smooth transition in and a smooth exhale out continuously with whatever length of your breathing you arrive in, breathing in, into the breathing out into the breathing in. And as you breathe, can you feel what you feel in the body starting to arrive in the awareness of your seat? Can you feel the ground underneath you? Can you feel where your hands are resting? Can you feel your shoulders softened away from your ears and this face soft, belly soft? As though you're melting into the mat, then also through the back body, can you find some length, maybe allow the heart subtle movement forward, the chest moving forward. Together, we'll take a nice slow breath in and breathe out. Guiding the hands together with a mindful way, slowly rubbing the hands, feeling the full palm on both right and left hand as you rub. And cupping the hands over the eyes as to supercharge the senses, allow a little bit of space between the eyes and the palm as you breathe in, as you breathe out. Again, bringing the hands together, rubbing the palms. And this time, cupping the hands over the heart space as you breathe in, as you breathe out. Maybe allowing your head to bow or your inward gaze to turn into the heart space as you set your intention or receive your intention or stay in the space or offer yourself space or anything in between and around. Slowly allowing the hands to come down as you blink open the eyes. Inviting yourself into the seat, maybe removing anything underneath your seat if that feels okay. And switching the back foot forward from your easy pose, or if your legs are extended, or if they need to be extended, just adjusting in your seat to continue finding a tall spine in your body. And then from here, we're going to start to supi grind. This is a uh, kriya, the kundalini practice. And today we're just going to continue to offer our awareness to the ground, feeling the seat underneath us as we start to circle the shoulders over the hips, any amount. You might have the awareness in the shoulders tracing the hips or guiding the awareness down towards the pit of the belly and spiraling the navel center around the pelvis. So this idea of churning, spiraling awareness deep in the body. 
really close to the ground. If it helps to close the eyes and just kind of feel what you feel with this motion, as though you're turning a spotlight in and just surveying what comes up in the body as you start to invite it into movement in a slow way, a mindful way. Continuing to allow the shoulders to be soft, the hands to be soft, the belly to be soft. And then pairing the breath with this movement as you exhale, rounding back, draw the navel in, lift the pelvic floor even. And then as you come forward, inhale, maybe you lean or bow forward. Find the extension of that inhale and exhale again, back to those long stretched breathing where you really allow yourself time in the motion with the breath. So again, the breath in as you round forward like you're smelling a bed of roses. And the exhale, you draw the navel in this mula band action almost to force or guide the breath out of the body. Beautiful. Take two more orbits in this way. Maybe a little slower on the last one, even slower. Just feel all the parts that are working and moving here. And guide yourself back to a neutral spine where you then again, bring the part forward, lengthen up through the back body, bring the hands to the belly that helps to inhale in and up. I need that full breath, stretch breath at the top of the crown, inhale and exhale in and down all the way through the vessel, the systems. Do that two more times where you inhale, pull the breath in and up. And then a long, slow exhale from the crown of the head in and down and maybe wide too to the network and support systems that are here. One more. Beautiful, and then relaxing the breath here as you reach the left hand out to the side of the body using blocks, if you, that's in your practice. And as you inhale, right arm reaches up, reach from the scapula here to feel the length of the side body. And as you exhale, maybe bow laterally over to the side. Beautiful, we'll inhale, guide ourselves back up through center. Exhale as you stretch over. Might find that you can go deeper each time. One more inhale. Exhale, staying in this lateral stretch for one full breath. And then as you inhale, slowly arrive back through to center. At center, extend both hands straight out from the shoulders, reach through the heel of the hand, the fingers draw in, and then exhale as you relax the hand. We'll do that with breath. Inhale, stretch the palms really wide, draw them back. So you're pressing long through the heel of the hand and then relax. One more, just like that. And relax, beautiful right hand comes down, inhale, left arm up first, reaching from the side body scapula up and then exhale as you fold over. Two more, just like that as you inhale, dance with yourself and exhale. Find that ease and steadiness both together. In this one, we stay in the lateral stretch for a full breath. Feeling the pulsation of the breath in and out. And then we inhale back up through to center together. One more inhale as you reach the heel of the hand away from the shoulders. Maybe the chest comes forward. Exhale as you relax, Just stretching through the wrist here. Inhale, spread the palms, draw the fingers back, and then exhale, relax. One more, just like that. Inhale. Exhale, arms slowly float back down to center. Beautiful, but switch your legs, adjust your legs, back foot forward as we start to kundalini spiral the opposite direction. So moving first to just familiarize this motion, shoulders tracing the hips, the pelvis, or maybe even drawing that awareness deep into the pit of the navel, behind the navel, and like the idea of spiraling, churning, that midsection, that solar energy, solar to root, solar sacral root energy, continuing to connect to the ground. Where is the ground meeting you? Where are you meeting the ground? And stay curious as we practice 
in this idea of self observation, self awareness, self understanding, self standing under. And then pairing the breath here as you exhale, rounding back, draw the navel in towards the spine, scoop that pelvic floor as though you're creating a bandha, that's the ula band. And then as you inhale, you orbit forward as though you're smelling the bed of roses. Inhale and exhale. Move at your own pace. Again, make this your own. Shoulders, palms, belly soft. Taking two more rotations, orbits in this way with the breath and the movement. The last one a little slower. And eventually arriving back into this neutral spine where you lengthen tall through the crown of the head, the chest comes forward. Hands at the low belly, if that helps to guide the inhale in and up. The exhale in, down, towards the ground, and then wide. Sending it through the channels, network, support systems below. Two more, inhale in and up, full breath. Exhale in and down and wide. One more, just like that. Beautiful, walking the hands forward in any position of the legs, whether you need to, again, adjust the legs, extend them out, or just folding over a Sukhasana seat to the legs cross, and just feel the sit bones plugged in, the side bodies long, the head heavy. And notice the breath that adjusts here with this compression of the diaphragm and organs. Can you still breathe into that length of your inhale with the awareness you're breathing in and the length of the exhale with the awareness that you're breathing out? Two more, really studying your breath, really being with your breath. Last one. On your inhale and out before walk your hands slowly back to find your spine tall. If not already, extend your legs out wide, starting to pedal through the toes as though you're floating or fluttering in water. Just let this movement be fluid and curious, maybe spreading the toes as you draw them back, reaching through the heel, exhale as you kind of curl them under or point the toes. And then finding a nice place to bounce the legs a little bit, shaking. Finding buoyancy in the knees always, maybe even bending the knees or finding yourself up on a seat, a bolster blanket or uh, anything that you have at home. And then again, we'll pair the breath and movement here in this position, bringing the hands to the low belly. Again, finding that length of the spine length and breath, inhale. As you exhale, slide the hands down the left leg, really apply some pressure to feel the full motion, any amount towards the toes. And then as you inhale, long breath back up through to center. You might even put place a little pressure on the belly, navel, and exhale, switch sides. Now the pressure of the hands kind of squeezing the leg is really therapeutic. You can feel kind of access maybe some lymphatic systems here as you continue to move side to side, extending the breath any amount, engaging the feet any amount. And just feeling yourself being with your breath, body, and the ground, all awareness here. Noticing if you have a tendency to rush through this or if you can invite yourself to slow down and stay curious. Or if you need an adjustment, you know, maybe you need to slide some things under the knees or bring the feet closer together. Take a pass, both sides, one last. 
round. And after you slide your hands up the right leg and back through to center, we'll exhale, fold in the middle. Any amount forward, you can always use blocks, bolsters, or supports to keep your self lifted to stay in a tall spine. So even if it feels okay to curl the shoulders forward, see what it feels like to just find that tall spine and do a little less just to feel what this offers you with support. And then three long breaths here where you inhale, right into the exhale. That continuous breath without pause, fluid, breathing in, breathing out. What else is here? Last breath in and breathe out. And as you guide your spine tall, again, moving the blocks out, scoop under the knees, draw the knees together, feet together, open the knees wide into butterfly. You can apply a little pressure here in our thigh with the forearm elbows, just to feel any opening that's already here in the knees and the legs and the thighs. Maybe you find a little bit of a scoop anterior posterior tilt. So just rocking the pelvis forward. As you inhale, chest comes forward, shoulders back. As you exhale, round any amount. As you tilt the pelvis like a cat kind of spine. And then again, inhale, forward, shoulders back and down. Exhale, round. Two more, just like that, cat cow spine with the butterfly legs. Last one here, inhale, maybe you gaze up this one, part forward, exhale around, really curl the chin in, any moments, and come back to neutral. Beautiful, extend your right leg long. And John Nui Sirsasana here, first using your fingers to guide your torso in the direction of those right toes. Just feel this form and shape in your body. Navel draws in, pelvic floor up. And then as you exhale, just walk yourself over the leg as though you're kind of directing your navel towards that right knee and pull. Now feel this shape and form as you breathe in. Reminder to take care and do less or do more according to what your body needs. And then inhale, walk the hands back up, tall spine. Inhale, reach out, reach up. And as you exhale, direct your navel torso towards those right toes, fold over any amount. We'll do this two more times. Continue to study your body here as you move. Inhale, reach out, reach up. Exhale as you fold. You know, a little twist of the torso, navel continues to guide the twist. And then last one, inhale, reach out, reach up. Lengthen the side bodies, fold over the leg as you exhale, stay for a full breath. Wherever you can reach, shin, ankle, heel, pinky toe. Yeah. Breathe in, breathe out. With your inhale, slowly rise up and reach your arms up through center. Exhale as you twist over the left leg. Left hand behind the back. Again, twisting from the navel center. Inhale, lengthen up through the crown of the head. The spine is long. Exhale, soften the navel towards that left side body. Do that two more times. The inhale lengthens your spine. The exhale, twist from your center. One more. On your next inhale, arms float up, cartwheel up towards the sky. Exhale, hands through heart center. Beautiful. You can slide your hands under that knee, guide it back through to center into butterfly position. There's a few options here, as always, so many. You can rock back and forth like we did cat-cow spine in your butterfly. Maybe you want to walk your hands forward in a fold for three breaths, forehead low. Or maybe just apply a little bit of that forearm strength into the inner thigh to feel the shape of butterfly in this seated position. Breathing three breaths long and smooth. Mm. 
I'm taking that last inhale into that exhale. And as you arrive back to a neutral tall spine, extending your left leg long this time, that right foot inner thigh for Johnny Sirsasana. First start with using the fingers to kind of guide and direct the navel towards the left toes, just to feel the shape and form, familiarize yourself with this side. And then walk the hands towards the toes as you fold over the leg, any amount helps to, for me to have a flexed foot if you want to um, explore that sensation. And then once you find that landing, that shape here, then we inhale back up through to center, reach the arms out and up, lengthen the side bodies. Exhale as you fold over that left leg. So you're continuing to move dynamically as you inhale, reach out, reach up, guide the navel towards those left toes and then fold over the leg. Beautiful, one more. And this one we land in for a full breath, holding on to whatever you can reach here, shin, ankle, pinky toe side of the foot as you find that smooth breath in and out. Inhale as you slowly walk your way back up, reach your arms up. And then as you exhale, we'll twist over the right leg, right hand behind the small of the back allowing that movement of the midsection, the torso navel to twist. And on your inhale, lengthen up through the crown. The spine is tall. As you exhale, soften the belly, but twist from the center. Two more breaths, just like that. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften into the twist. One more. On your inhale, cartwheel the arms back up, hands towards the sky. Exhale through heart center. Beautiful. This time, scoop underneath the right knee and then under the left and extend both legs straight out in front of you for staff pose. Maybe, again, flutter, flare the toes. And I really enjoy kind of rotating my inner thighs outward. So I slide my right hand and mid thigh to just kind of allow the flesh the fat, the skin to rotate outwards just to help with the support of my spine. And then inhale, reach out, reach up. Dynamically moving through staff pose, exhale, fold. Beautiful, inhale as you reach out, reach up. Guide the navel in, maybe scoop the low belly, exhale, fold over the legs. Full exhale, one more, just like that, inhale. Exhale. Landing in this fold, breath in and out. And as you inhale, slowly rise, slide the knees. Uh, under the knees, swivel around, allow yourself time to make your way onto all fours, tabletop position. Cut your space up to support yourself here as I often do, I have this knee injury, so I always enjoy a blanket underneath my knees. And then take a moment to just curl your toes under. Let me go sideways here. Curl your toes under. Put this way so I can see Heather's. As you curl your toes under, we'll just apply a little bit of weight and pressure back and down into the feet to just stretch through those channels and networks of the feet. You can always come forward and backwards, just kind of dynamically moving into the stretch of the feet, applying any amount of weight back and down. And then if it feels okay for you to stay in this kind of stretch of the feet, the toes curled under, Lean back as you come into a kneeling position. You also can slide a block underneath your seat here as we come into a kneeling position, just as we move through to some upper body movements here. We're gonna go through eagle arms just to warm up, but first bring your hands to your shoulders. Start to rotate your elbows very slowly. Feel the full range of motion in your shoulders. Sometimes that takes a slowing down in a mindful way. Do about three to five backwards before you reverse, bring them forward. Notice how the breath pairs with the movements. Continuing to find that, 
that equal part breath and smooth breath. Beautiful. And then relax the arms down by the sides. Maybe shake out the arms a little bit here. Feeling a little release through the hands and shoulders. Always find adjustments of the seat if you need to. And then extend the arms straight out from the shoulders, palms lifted. Cross the right arm under the left and bring them either to hands to shoulders, back of the palms together, maybe clasping the hands. And right away, press the elbows forward wherever you are, gaze down. Right away, you might feel what's happening and opening through the back body. Breathe into that space of awareness and sensation. Feels good to stay here as you receive and release three breaths. Or maybe you want a little bit of movement. Explore. Be curious as you inhale. The elbows press away and guide up any amount. And as you exhale, the elbows press away and guide down, maybe even kind of curling in the back body, any amount. The inhale again, away and up, pressing forward and up. The exhale, smooth breath out. One more, just like that, inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. As you uncross, unwind, maybe pause with a squeeze as you hug yourself. Again, let your arms come down. If you're high enough to swing the arms or shake the arms, you can also lift up into a higher kneeling pose and do the same. And one of my favorites is kind of this twisting action as you move it around. Allow your breath to pass out the mouth a few times, kind of as though an ujjayi or Audible sigh, audible exhale. <laughs> and slow this motion down. I'm all about the motion and energy, emotion. As you sit back into your seat or stay lifted, right? You can stay out of the pressure of the feet, knees, if that feels okay. Wherever you land here, heightened awareness, tall, tall spine, reach the arms out, palms lifted. This time, the left arm, left elbow under the right. Hands can come to shoulders, back of the palms together, or maybe clasping the palms here. And then press the elbows forward, gaze down at the chest. And maybe staying here for these long, smooth breaths in and out. Or find a little movement as you inhale, the elbows press forward and lift. And the exhale, they press forward and guide them down almost kind of curling cat spine, any amount, two more. Work with the body, continue to feel what the body feels, breathing in and through sensation, to continue to observe yourself. And after your third round on the cross, Bringing your hands to your shoulders, give yourself a nice tight hug here for a moment and then relax them down. Again, you can stay where you're at, kind of shake or, or wiggle or sway or swing the arms around. And taking a few, if not just one breath in, open mouth, exhale. <laughs> Beautiful, slowing this motion down as you come back through to the center. Walk your hands forward. Knees are in place for a tabletop as we move through cat cow in a dynamic way, alternating between a child's pose, down dog. I'll guide us through it. Inhale, push your, sorry, pull your heart forward, tailbone lifts, cow pose. As you exhale, round the spine and guide the hips back towards the heels any amount for this variation of child's pose. The forehead might lower down. And then as you inhale again, round the spine up through table top. And as you meet that apex, inhale, heart forward, tailbone lift. This time as you exhale, round the spine, but curl the toes under, lift up back, downward facing dog. So I'll continue to guide us through the sequence. As you inhale, both knees come down through tabletop together slowly. At the same time, heart pulls forward, cow pose. As you exhale, round, and slowly guide the hips back towards the heels for child's pose. 
Use the full breath as you inhale, round up through table. Heart forward, tailbone lifts. Exhale, round, but lift up, back downward facing you down. On your inhale, slowly lowering the knees down through tabletop, heart comes forward, cow pose. Exhale, round and sink the hips back, child's pose. Continue the sequence. The inhale is round forward, heart forward, cow pose. The exhale, round with spine, but alternating from down dog, which we're landing in now. The next one is child's pose. So inhaling through cow, exhale, alternating between a child pose and a down dog. Yes, do the sequence two more times with your breath at your pace, with the awareness that you already have. Continuing to allow the breath to move you. Breathe and then move. Breathe and then move. Beautiful. And as you pass through this last round or sequence, the next time that you come into a child's pose, allow yourself to land there for three ujjayi breaths or wind breaths, these kind of Restricted breaths through the throat, so you're creating a little bit of restriction and sound of wind. So you're fogging up a mirror. Your mouth can stay closed or open this long exhale. You can stay in this variation of child's pose or come forward and widen the knees for your child's pose. Two more ujjayi breaths. On your next inhale, slowly rise back up through tabletop position. Guiding the knees back under the hips here. Walk the right hand to the center of the mat. As you inhale, left arm reaches up towards the sky. As you exhale, thread the needle under towards your shoulder back of the head on that left side. Land for the extension of your exhale. And then when you inhale, we'll pull back that arm up and out. Exhale, thread the needle, dynamically moving into this shape. And then your inhale, again, one more, pull out and up. Exhale, thread the needle, land in this posture, land in this shape. Take your variations, make it your own, and breathe in and through the body. This curious breath, this open breath, this Inquiry of self-observation notice. Continuing to find that smooth breath into the exhale. Maybe if you want to add on a little bit in this posture, pressing down through that left shoulder, almost as though you're isometrically drawing the arm back towards the body. Just feel that openness in the back body. You might even find that you can extend your right arm up, reaching it forward or binding it behind you. You might even be able to extend your right leg along, lift the knee, keep the toes low or lifted. Just challenging your balance a little bit in this pose. Or yeah, walk it out towards the side body for a gate leg. Wherever you are is right where you are. Be in the breath of that. Beautiful. Receiving one more inhale and to the exhale of this posture. And on your inhale, slowly unwind and returning to tabletop 
position. In your tabletop position, starting to circle your mat, you might even be able to kind of graze the hips forward of the mat. As you circle back, raising the hips over the heels or just hovering, I should say, raising, hovering, just kind of rounding, using arms, legs, core as you move breath, breathe, and then move. Take this last rotation a little slower. And as you come back through to center and you come forward, almost a seal pose here, pause for a breath. You might even bend the elbows, lower the hips, and then start to circle in the other direction. Now you're making your way the other direction around the mat. Maybe just even circling the hips, right? Spiral what you have access to, what you can breathe in and through. Slow down, you blast you around a little bit. As you return through the center, do you want to pause in that kind of seal posture, elbows bent for one breath, shoulders away from the ears, chest forward? And then slowly make your way back, tabletop position. Switching sides here, the right hand comes into the middle of the mat. Lift the left arm up. Sorry, we're switching sides. Whatever side you didn't do. So it's the left hand in the middle, the right arm reaches up. Exhale, thread the needle. Allow yourself to land in the pose. But then when you inhale, you come back out, reach back up, open the chest. Exhale, thread the needle. Use the extension of your breath, and then inhale one more. Reach back out and up. Exhale, thread the needle. This time we land. Land in your expression of this pose. And notice and adjust and breathe in and through. And you keep the breath smooth and balanced. Equal part inhale, equal part exhale. Very little transition, fluid breath. The inhale into the exhale. If you want a little add on here, maybe really pressing that shoulder down as you isometrically draw that bottom hand towards the body. Maybe that top arm, the left arm reaches up and forward or binds behind you. You might even challenge your balance by extending that left leg, knee lifted back or to the side. Stay curious. Breathe and then move, breathe and then Notice one more breath, just like that. And slowly unwind, unravel. Allow yourself time to then transition back into tabletop. Beautiful. In tabletop position, as you inhale, heart comes forward, tailbone lifts, cow pose. As you exhale, round, but lift up and back, downward facing dog. Find your shape in downward dog. Find your delegation of weight, your balance in downward dog. Really spreading the fingers and almost gripping the mat as you drop the weight of the head. Lift the hips up, send the thighs back as though you're hugging the knees or the shins towards the midline. Rotating the inner thighs back and wide. Feel your shape as you breathe. Three breaths here. Smooth breath in, smooth breath out. On your next inhale, lift your right leg up towards the sky. 
As you exhale, draw it towards the midline, towards the nose, hover before then stepping through to a lunge. Drop the back knee down, grab your block. Bring them to frame the front of your mat, the front of this right foot. And take a full lunge here, back knee low, just feeling your lunge and the shape of your lunge as you lean into that front foot. Press the front foot down. And then as you exhale, maybe lift the back knee option or keep the knee low. I'll show you both the back knee runner's lunge. As you exhale, send the hips back as you straighten the front leg and you up. Beautiful option with the knee low as you inhale, continue to move back and forth. Maybe the exhale of the knee is down, send your hips back half on the line. You can variate between these two. The inhale is the lunge, either, whether the knee is lifted or low. The exhale, straighten the front leg. Beautiful, move with your slow, full breath in and out. Noticing all the sensations as you keep the hips square to the top of the mat. The blocks at the front of the mat can continue to frame the foot as close to the foot and in any setting that works best for your lunge. And then breathe and move beautifully. One more, just like that. And your next inhale, as you come forward into your lunge, if the back knee is lifted, lower it down. And as you exhale, we'll all come together, half Hanuman, and send the hips back. Maybe the blocks walk back towards the hips for assistance in keeping that spine long. And maybe you stay lifted, or maybe you fold over that leg. Three breaths. Can you flare the toes? Does the foot feel good to be active here? Notice your breath. Notice the space of the body. Notice what arises here. Stay curious. One more breath in. Move breath out. Beautiful. Walk your hands inner thigh. So right hand comes in. As you walk them forward, bend in your front knee and kind of swivel your foot towards the outside of the mat, setting up for lizard pose. My toes are angled. It feels best for my hips. You might have a wider stance or your hips might be a little bit um, closer. Or your knee might, foot might be a little closer. Wherever your lizard pose feels best for you here. Keep the knee low or lift the knee and just circle, move, or find stillness. What feels best for three breaths? Yeah, I'm just gonna call out what I see in this pose. Sometimes it feels good to just lower the forearms down and breathe into the shape of lizard pose. For some of us, you know, need the movement. We just need to move and feel the expression of what movement in this pose offers. Breathe and then move two more breaths. If you're spiraling, circling, just do both directions. Notice if you compromise any kind of tightness in the face, relax the jaw. And then for just a moment, find stillness in your lizard, whether the, the knee is low or lifted, one breath in, one breath out. From here, Transition through tabletop to downward dog or pressing through the palms, lift the hips up. Send the right leg back to three-legged dog or down dog and then lower the foot, downward facing dog. One full breath in your down dog. <laughs> On your inhale, lift your left leg up towards the sky, three-legged dog. As you exhale, draw the knee towards the center, towards the nose and hover or step through, drag it through into a lunge. Blocks returning to the front of your mat. Lower the back knee down. Feel the full expression of your lunge here with the back knee low. Just notice the shape here. Whether you keep the back knee low as you find this dynamic movement back and forth, or maybe a low lunge to half on a month, 
or lift the back knee, runner's lunge, and then send the hips up and back as you straighten your front leg. You might do both, you know, transition, alternate between that low half hanuman or lifted hips and straighten the front leg, more like a pyramid posture. However you're moving, continue to stay in the body through the breath. Breathing in and through. Follow the breath. Breathe. And then move. Do two more rounds. Slow down these last two rounds. Just feel all the moving parts, all that's working here. And in your next lunge, lower the back knee down. Uncurl the toes, send the hips back as you strain that front leg into half front of line. Maybe stay lifted as the blocks walk back, spine tall, or fold over the leg. Three breaths. And you relax the face, the jaw, the shoulders, the belly here, and just stay with the breath, that smooth breath in and out. One more, just like that. Bring that left hand inner thigh as you inhale. Walk your hands forward as you bend into that front knee. Swivel the foot as it walks out to the outside of the mat, opening up the knee wide, the toes angled, and staying in a low lizard or the back knee low, or maybe lift the back knee in lizard, or move or just explore what this posture has for you in the way that you need to stay curious with your breath. Looks different for all of us. Maybe you're spiraling the hips, circling. Maybe the back knee is down and your forearms are low. Maybe you have something else in mind. Make it your own. And if you're moving in a circular way, just switch directions. Breathe and, and move. And then coming back through to a neutral spine, just finding stillness for one full breath, whether the back knee is low or lifted in lizard pose, breathing in, breathing out. And in transition, maybe stepping this front foot back as you lower the back knee or send the hips up, left foot lifts, three-legged dog, exhale, downward facing. Dog. From your down dog, inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing. Find a little undulation of the spine as you inhale, high plank. Just finding a rounded spine as you come forward. Exhale, round the spine as you move back. Two more. Inhale. Feel that ripple, wave-like spine. Beautiful. And then together. Together as we inhale, we'll float forward, maybe toward the tiptoes. Pause in your plank, either knees down or lifted. Exhale slowly, lower down to your belly. Hands stay, framing the chest as you inhale, baby cobra. Feel the chest forward, press through the top of the feet. Exhale as you lower down. Inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, float your way back down, foreheads down. One more, inhale, baby cobra. Maybe you stay as you exhale, or lower back down. Inhale, if you're lifted, exhale, or all the way back down. Beautiful, 
from here. I either push back into tabletop, child pose or up into high plank, exhale downward facing. Receive three breaths in your downward facing. Feel the shape, feel the delegation of weight. Again, the fingers spread, pressing and gripping the mat with the palms, head is low, hips high. Send the thighs towards the back of the room. Beautiful. As though you're hugging the shins in towards the midline, inner thighs rotating back and wide. One more breath here. And slowly step the feet as wide as your mat. Bend the knees any amount to walk your hands back to meet your feet in a forward fold. Once you arrive in a forward fold, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale as you fold. Allow yourself to pull the weight of your upper body in on your fold. Inhale, halfway lift, slide the hands up, the shins towards the knees. Exhale, fold, pull yourself into your fold. One more, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, pull your weight. Beautiful. Slight bend in the knees, swing the arms forward and up as you rise, up, gaze up. And as you exhale, hands come through heart center. Half salutes here, inhale, reach out, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. The feet can stay wide, or as you inhale, reach out, reach up. Just heel toe the feet under the hips. Exhale, hands through heart center. Two more half salutes. Inhale, reach out, reach up. Let your breath guide you as you then exhale, forward fold. Dance with your body. As you then inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. Inhale, reach out, reach up. Gaze up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Feel that prana energy moving through. Inhale, reach out, reach up. Exhale, forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward. You're gonna walk your hands forward and bend your knees as much as you need to to walk Back to downward facing up. Beautiful. One breath and downward facing up. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower down, belly, maybe knees first. Beautiful. A little shoulder roll here as you extend your left arm straight out from your shoulder. Let your left cheek rest onto the mat, right hand right up by the chest to allow yourself to press into the right hand, roll onto your left hip and notice that left palm is spread, maybe even pressing down through the palm as you roll onto your left hip, stack the legs. And maybe you stay here as you breathe into the shape. Maybe you lift your head to strengthen the neck or slide a block underneath your head. What does that right arm want to stay curious about and explore? Maybe it reaches up and back beneath the back arm, the left arm, or bind behind you. Your top leg, right leg, maybe that wants to explore the flavor of bending the knee and planting the foot. Stay curious as you move. Mindfully breathing and then exploring, breathing and then noticing. More smooth breath in to the exhale out. Allow yourself a slow transition to unwind, legs stacked. Right hand comes back to frame the chest as you roll through to center. Turning onto the other cheek, or maybe extending your right arm first. 
planting the palm directly out from your shoulder, placing the palm down into the ground and then turn onto your right cheek, left hand to support you as close to the chest to roll onto your right hip, stack the leg. And explore this side, the flavor that this side offers you, the awareness and observation of this side. What does the top arm want to explore? What is the top leg, left leg want to explore? Where is the breath? What do you feel? How are you breathing? Can the breath be smooth? Can the breath be balanced and even here? Three more rounds. One more full breath in to the exhale out as you slowly transition back to stacking that top leg. The left hand comes back as you roll back to the belly, hands framing the chest, forehead low. Use your hands to support you to lift up just enough to slide your body all the way over to the left side of the mat. We're gonna just get playful here. Here, reach your right arm forward and then roll onto your back. Maybe if you need to grab your belongings for your closing charges, maybe you need to sit up. But otherwise, we're here on our back. Drawing your right knee up towards your chest if you want to. You can plant both feet and kind of slide yourself back onto your mat if that feels right. Otherwise, just hugging your right knee up towards your chest. Extend the heel up towards the sky, holding onto the back of the thigh. Point flex the foot. Create a little resistance here for a full breath. <clears throat> and then as you exhale, the foot just float, the whole leg just float slowly down the back as though you're landing and anchoring that right leg heavy. Inhale the left leg up towards the chest. Extend the heel up towards the sky. Create a little resistance. Palms or fingers interlaced behind the thigh, the thigh pressing into the hands for a full breath. And then allow this leg to float down the mat. One more here. As you inhale, reach your arms up overhead. As you exhale, draw the right knee back up towards the chest. As you hug around the shin or knee, with the left hand, guide that right knee across the body, supine twist, but keep <laughs> hugging it up towards the chest. Eventually, it lands or hovers the ground on the left side body. Reach your right arm out for a full breath in the supine twist. And as you exhale, come back to center, knee to chest, extend that leg long. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, left knee up to the chest. Hug the knee in as close to the chest and then with the right hand, cross it over the body. Left arm extended, shoulders grounded, one full breath here. Come back to center, extend that leg long. Take any final movements for your practice that feel inviting or curious for you. Before coming into a place of stillness for your resting practice of Shavasana. And as you come into these final movements or as you come into this posture of stillness, can you feel the fullness of the breath for three rounds, that full long breath into the Full long breath out, just finding three formed breaths before letting that form go. A 
on that last exhale, letting the form and shape of the breath go, letting the form and shape of your body go. And like a drop of water into the ocean, just find yourself expansive, untethered, to receive. Nothing to think about, nothing to know, just all being. Slowly guide your awareness back to the ground as your body, to your breath, breathing into the space that surrounds you, breathing into the space that's within you, remembering that you are not separate. Invite a little movement, fingers or toes. Maybe wiggle waggle the jaw as you open the mouth, breathing in and out of the nose. Rocking the head slowly from side to side, or maybe even reaching the arms up overhead as you stretch long through the body. Allow yourself time to move in a way that awakens you, eventually transitioning onto one side in a fetal position, eventually allowing yourself the time to sit up in a seated position for closing pranayam practice, the closing of our asana practice. <clears throat> we'll close with this practice of brahmari or bee breath, bumblebee breath. And I'll just demonstrate the mudras, which are choice or option. All of it is choice or optional. But the thumbs gently cover the ears as to deprive the sound, deprivation of sound. Enough to just close the sound out, not to press or damage anything within the ear or ear canal. And then the pinky rests on the nostrils. The ring finger, middle finger rests on the eyelids. Not enough to press, just to guide closed. The middle finger on the eyebrows and the pointer finger rests where it lands. So this is an option for the mudra in this bumblebee breath where the eyes are closed to deprive the sight, the ears are closed to deprive the sound, and all that you're hearing is the resonance of this humming, this extended exhale in the vibration through the mouth, the tongue can be landed up behind the two front teeth to, to sound like 
Mm, you're creating the sound wave through the body, resonance of sound through the spine and nervous system. All of this is optional. But if you'd like to join me, we'll do five rounds of bumblebee breath on our exhale. It's a slow breath in. And I'll just demonstrate. On the exhale, full extension. All of our extensions are going to be different. So any questions before we get started? All right, taking a smooth breath in together with mudra or without mudra as you exhale, begin. We hold the space together. Thank you so much for sharing this practice with me this evening. About to each in peace, good health. Namaste. The rest of your evening. Thank y'all online, take care.